Wait for it. Watch this. Wow. Jim Cantore would be in heaven with thunder snow, lake effect snow across the Great Lakes, especially in Buffalo. That's really incredible video. Check out Twitter. It's full of awesome videos from a weather standpoint. You hear that cycling again. Let's talk in today's Daily Shower about this lake effect snow event and where we could see up to 60 inches of snowfall still to come this weekend. So out across the western U.S., here's kind of the weather pattern setup. We still have all of this cold air and some moisture diving out of Canada. And that's what moved through the Colorado area last night. So storm recap, snowfall totals provided on weather5280.com. Let me change the satellite picture. Now we're changing the view toward the Great Lakes and I'll pop into the Great Lakes region here. Watch here, you'll see some lines, convective lines, if you will. Well, that's what they are. Uh, as we get the moisture, and that cold air moving over the Great Lakes. So kind of coming out of the Northern Plains, the upper Midwest, that cold air moves in like this. And as it encounters those lakes, which are warmer, that provides fuel. The, the air is able to suck in some of the humidity, that moisture off the lakes, and then gets more energetic by doing so. And so these lines are convective lines or like thunderstorms, but we're producing snowfall. And that's lake effect snow when you generate environments like this. And it's really incredible to see the amount of snow. As you zoom in here, you see a lot of stuff going on. As that cold air moves in, you see big bursts like this. Uh, really awesome stuff. And Twitter is obviously uh, making headlines for, for bad things here recently, but what a great resource it is to uh, check things out. So like snowfall totals or are some really impressive videos. Here's somebody talking about how it looks like a Buffalo Bill and the calm before the storm, all that kind of stuff here in Buffalo. But look at some of the great pictures we've already picked up uh, from the snowfall in Buffalo, New York. So it's already been very, very impressive here. And not just for the lake effect snow, but we're spreading wintry weather elsewhere. This was Pittsburgh earlier this morning uh, via the ambient weather network. They have a lot of really awesome webcams on the network. Uh, temperatures now you see here on the screen, 20s and 30s throughout uh, this part of New York and down into Pennsylvania. But you can select all of these cameras and they appear here on the right. So kind of cool as these storm systems move through to pop on ambientweather.net and, and check out those weather conditions as things are happening. Let's take our timeline from Friday evening and let's go forward in time. And we're looking at one model output. I didn't choose it for a particular reason, but just for an example of what's happening. And the blue areas you see on the screen, especially those deeper blues, that is that continued convective lake effect snow in a few areas right in here. I'll highlight some. Watch the timeline as we go forward. We're gonna see those areas be very persistent kind of weakening but overall you see that convective line until saturday night and then on sunday we have another burst to move through so multiple periods of these convective snow bands or lake effect snows to impact these areas and then yeah a couple of chances we get into next tuesday but the bulk of the action again is from let's go friday night into saturday morning saturday afternoon saturday evening there comes another wave for sunday morning Sunday midday, and it gets quieter Sunday afternoon. A lot of energy, a lot of dynamics, a lot of meteorology is going into this. And look at some of the snowfall totals. I'm just going to pop all the way to the end. So here's the very beginning. Uh, let's see what happens as we get into early Monday morning. Look at all the snow all across the Great Lakes region, but focusing on those western areas of the state. So like in Michigan, you get the lake effect snow, so it's going to be closer to the lake, obviously, but we have well more than a foot possible in areas. You get to the lake effect snow here from around Buffalo, New York, down to the south. Uh, right in there, some really hefty snowfall totals. It's really amazing the amount of snow we're going to be producing for these folks. Again, let's go back to this map. It's just via the Buffalo, New York weather office. And look at some of these totals around Clayton, 36 to 48 inches of snowfall. Pulaski, 18 to 24. Down around Buffalo, 48 to 60 inches of snowfall. Really incredible. I'm going to take the same idea and let's transfer over to a different system here and zoom in and take a look at some of these totals. So this is a program I use to be interactive with some of the data. but. We'll start off over here, the lesser impressive, but still, 
hefty snowfall totals were over 12 inches. So like I mentioned, more than a foot of snow. Petoskey's there, Traverse City down to around Cadillac, Grand Rapids south to Kalamazoo. Some bullseyes of very hefty snowfall there. You go up to the north and yeah, you get closer to the Sioux, Whitefish Point, some of these areas out toward Marquette. You're going to pick up some heavier totals, but not like down to the south, not in the not down to the south. Uh, as you look over here, let's get into New York. Wow, Buffalo, Niagara Falls. There's a bullseye. Uh, this total is going to be well more than two feet of snowfall. You know, the weather service is forecasting upwards of four feet, if not more. That's a lot of snow. But you can kind of see it here concentrated around Niagara Falls, then over Buffalo, then south of Buffalo, and along that shoreline, almost down to Erie. That's going to be the bullseye of lake effect snow in this part. And then let's go up to Watertown. So you have Kingston, Watertown, up to Brockville or so, down to Syracuse. There's a lot of snow to fall in here also, but mostly north of Syracuse, right around Watertown. That's going to be amazing bullseye. That's going to be several feet of snowfall in there too. So again, that's just an interactive way of looking at some of this data. Really awesome snowfall totals coming out of here. I say awesome as a snow lover. I have never personally experienced a lake effect event like this. So, you know, if it's too much, I understand. I mean, it's crippling to areas, but from a scientific standpoint, that's where I get my excitement. I'll just pull this map view out and you can see how quiet the rest of the country is for the weekend. It's really focusing on the Great Lakes. So that's a lot of lake effect snow. Awesome stuff. Thanks for joining my daily shower. Matt Makins here. We'll see you the next time.